What does a college dropout, a melted glacier, and a bucket of paint have in common? To find this out, we get to go to Peru, as it has 70% of the glaciers in the world located there. Sadly, these glaciers are melting at an alarming rate, and it's affecting the local population. Upon hearing this, one man, our college dropout, named Eduardo Gold, wanted to do something about it. So he moved from his home in Lima to the village of Licapa, Peru. This small village is located on the western side of the South America continent, at an elevation of 13,825 feet, or 4,214 meters. It is here that this once mighty glacier that overlooked the area is almost completely gone. It's at this moment that Eduardo's simple brilliance came into effect, and he figured, let's paint the mountain white. He even went so far as making his own paint, from simple and environmentally friendly ingredients like lime, industrial egg white, water, and sand. He did meet some backlash, not only from some Peruvian officials, but also different people within the international community didn't think it was going to work. But the truth is, his idea actually had merit. For we know that, especially in hot weather climates, People will oftentimes put a white metal roof on their building to be able to repel the heat. And the science is actually very simple. We can imagine a mountain that might be a little bit darker of a color. The sun's rays beat down on it. And just like when you stand on blacktop in the middle of summer, it gets really hot. But now let's put some ice on there. And you see the glacier is on there and now it's reflecting that heat back up thereby keeping the surface area cool. His theory was cold generates cold, so if the mountain was white, it would be cooler and the ice could naturally form. Our next question, how did they apply the coating? Well, the workers used pails and jugs and they splashed this whitewash all over the rocks. So, how did everything turn out? Well, about 18 months later, CNN hiked with the engineers and his crew to roughly 16,400 feet above sea level. That's where this team had already painted about 50,000 square feet of rock with this whitewash that they created. Remarkably, the temperature was about 30 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than the unpainted sections of the mountain, and ice was already beginning to form. Now to answer our question we asked at the beginning. What does a college dropout, a melted glacier, and a bucket of paint have in common? Well, it's an incredible story of how one man who was trying to save his community painted a mountain in order to combat global warming. That does it for our video today. For color commentators, this is Brandon Kurtzbach reminding you to please like, listen, and share some time with your friends at Pros Pondering Paint.